All right, another example of compounding interest. Let's go. Mark deposited 900 into a growth account with a rate of 1.5% compounded every three months. Flag this. Flag this. What is the balance after 18 months? And interest. All right. Let's go back to this part here. Rate of 1.5% compounded every three months. It's compounded every three months. So, remember what we said about compounding interest and what our n will be. Our n will be the number of times within a year the interest compounds. Our n will be the number of times within a year the interest compounds. So, it compounds every three months. So, if it compounds every three months, how many three months are in a year? There are four three months or four three-month periods in a year. There are what? four three-month periods in a year. So, because the interest is compounded every three months or quarterly, because three months is quarter of a year. The interest compounds quarterly or n will be four because there are four three months in a year four three months in a year cool so our n will be four make a note of that cool let us always remember to convert our months into years all right always always so we're gonna convert our 18 months into years which is gonna be 1.5 years all right now let us calculate our a a is gonna be 900 is our p um 900 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.015 divided by 4 raised to the power of 1.5 1.5 multiplied by 4 1.5 is our t this is our t this is our t and 4 is our n Let's calculate. 1 plus 0 0.015 divided by 4 equal that. We proceed to raising it by 1.5 times 4 is 6. So raise it to the power of 6 equal that times 900. So this is our compounded or 900 compounded for 18 months all right so our n is 4 because it is compounded 4 times for the year because it compounds every 3 months that means it compounds 4 times for the year so our n is 4 our t is 1.5 because we converted our months to years here. And our principal is 900. Now our interest will, without any doubt, be 920.44 minus 900, which is going to be 20.44. Done. Easy, easy. Next example, how much interest is earned when $50 is invested at 12% compounded monthly for four years? All right. So the $50 is invested at an interest rate 12% compounded 
monthly. So let's think about that now. Let's think about that. The interest rate is compounded monthly. So every month, the interest rate compounds. How many times is that for the year? If it compounds monthly, therefore it compounds 12 times for the year. Hence, N is equal to 12. And they already gave us our years in years. So we're good. We can now proceed with calculating our accumulated value, which we will then calculate our, in, our interest from. Interest, because they want the interest. They didn't ask for the accumulated value, but we can't get to the interest without calculating the accumulated value when doing compound interest. So we calculate our A, which is our accumulated value which is 50 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 12, voila. F raised to the 4 times 12, right? All right? This is equal to, this is child's play. I'm sure you have this under control by now. 0 point, not 0, divided by 12 close bracket yes raise to the power of 48 because 4 times 12 is 48 times 50 which is 80.61 hence i is equal to 80.61 minus 50 which is equal to 30.61 and that's j2t i'll see you in the next episode